Okay, I'm starting at the beginning now. I couldn't do this earlier because the agent had to take me in herself and show me some stuff. So here's the front, so there's the mailbox. So here is, it's a very charming entrance. Actually better than what I expected. So here's the driveway. There's the gate. Closes. And there's the other driveway of the neighbor. <clears throat> so there's definitely more space facing the house on the left hand side. I wish a camera had peripheral vision. <laughs> so you could see it better. It's nice and private. It is a two-car garage, but it's not huge. It's not a big two-car. But the house is, it's really cute. It's got good curb appeal. the AC unit which these current owners put in. It's a train. It has a sensor inside that senses the temperature. It's called a, a nesting system in case you want to look that up in case you don't know that. But there's that spot that had, used to be the swimming pool. So when you walk in, you've got seven stairs to the left that go up and seven stairs that go down. Straight ahead is, now wait, standing right here at the doorway, there's the kitchen, which I'll go in there. You go straight back it opens up beautifully it's very bright and I don't know that you can see that dining area very spacious and open. Back 
place. Like I said, it's very bright in here. I'm afraid this is gonna come out looking dark. It's just so well done. Beautiful views. Hardwood flooring. There's that spot again that had the swimming pool. And then all that is rock shelf. The back of the house. There's that room downstairs, the lower level den, that has a uh, good space. Okay, French doors you can open or close. There's on either side of this room, there are French doors, but these are open. You can leave them open or closed. So, now here we are looking at the dining space again. And the living room space. The windows are all new on the back of the house, the casement windows. Okay. There's the kitchen. window. It's so bright in here, but it's just not going to show up as bright. There's the stairs that go up. So that's all that's on this walk-in level. And I've already come up from downstairs and there's those steps and here's the steps that go up. This is what they use as their master. Okay, this room right here. It's on the left as you come up the stairs. It's on the front of the house so it doesn't have a view. But <clears throat> over here is a bedroom with a gorgeous view which is smaller, I guess, a little bit smaller. Um, and then there's this bedroom. I guess it's a little bit smaller than what they use as the master. Both of these have views. <clears throat> the plans, if they had stayed here, they were gonna make one big master suite out of this room and this room. And then this is the bathroom. So they were gonna make a bigger bathroom and make one bedroom out of two bedrooms. The bathroom is updated 
<clears throat> this other bathroom. But, I mean, it does have Corian countertops, but it doesn't have marble or anything like that. So it's just immaculate. Okay. But what they do use is the room right over here because that's the way the people before them used it. Even though it doesn't have a view, it has this big closet. Floors. It's just very easy to, and a window, so you got plenty of light. <clears throat> and there's that window. So this room is bigger than those other two rooms, and that's why it is the master. This bathroom. See, there's one side of the bathroom has this sink and cabinets and vanity and mirror. Then there's a shower in the middle, and on the other side of the shower, there's a door on each side of the shower, is the other part of the bathroom that has a sink. See, there's the shower again. So, and then this one has the window with a view. So it's an unusual bathroom.